Clayton, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damn the refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the Politburo. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Are the questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Surrender! Surrender. 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 Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target.
Quit shaking. The manual says it's the red wire. So that's the one you cut. You cut it yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Fist your pants already? <laughs> then watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are you hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Composed. Composed. Oh, the red wire. The red wire. Come on. Don't rush me. How long is it gonna take? Almost there. Scared, huh? Hey, get off my case. Let me think. Well, I see this is taking forever. So I'll go take a walk in the meantime. Make up your minds already. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. Second ball. Come here, second ball. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Split in two? Second post here. Second ball. Report your situation. Group 8 left the facility using Tunnel 2. Roger that, second post. Carry on. hell did they want? Probably the usual shit about safety precautions. As if we didn't sign in the book. We did, so what good is that? One asshole got run over by a crane last week. No, he lost an eye when a cable broke. That was last month. I'm talking last week. Oh, now I understand why they're going on about safety like that. That's my line. Who's gonna work if everyone is out of commission? Well, yes. I wish they'd fix that dumb radio or something. Makes me uneasy, you know?
Send me to the hospital. Not my words. It's the only thing that kept me alive. But what the hell happened? Why? You don't know about the bridge? Sure, I know the place. I served there for a short time. Well, last year there was one hell of an incident. The guy said that when they came to relieve the watch, all the sentries on our side of the bridge were dead. So the lieutenant sent some scouts to the Nazi post on the other end. They returned and said it was the same shit there. Their boots were stained red. Like they came from the old river. Who could have killed so many men? Whatever it was, it wasn't human. Might have been a creature some called the Dark Rail Tracer. One of the guys supposedly made him mad by taking a nut off on a rail junction. That's ridiculous. If it wasn't the rail tracer, the story is even crazier. Must have been a Hansa or Polish task force. How could a task force that size get there undetected? Now, one guy that's possible. I heard of a traitor who smuggled a spy of some kind to the front line through the smithy in a rail car undercarriage. But 30 guys? Eh, that's too complex. We'll never know. But somehow, it happened. They've tripled the guards at the bridge since then. Which reminds me, you should take a walk around the barracks, so that nobody sneaks up on us here. Okay, I will. Got nothing better to do anyway. Mm-hmm. 